So what's going on Dammers? My name is Mehul and welcome to another video in which we're gonna take a look at what React Native Paper is. So um, we take a look, we took a look at what it is in the last one, but now let's just implement this, right? So it's free, it's um, beautiful, it's fast. So what else do you want, right? In a world of React Native, you don't have to like code all those nits and grits, a little bit of details here and there of your text inputs, your buttons and stuff like that. So that's, that's pretty cool, right? So let's just get started and install it. It says yarn as the package manager, but um, we are the bad guys. So we're gonna use npm. So I'm gonna say npm install React Native Paper and you can just save it as a dependency as well. Right, the next thing it says is that you have to install, um, let me just increase the font here just in case, you have to install React Native Vector icons. Um, you do not really need to unless you are making use of something which requires icons, like for example an icon or for example a button icon, but still it does not really hurt to do that. Right, So you can just go ahead and do that, but uh, I guess I might just skip it for now. Right, right, so... Um, the next thing is presets, Babel presets, and basically I do not really think um, we need anything right here um, except for production stuff, which we're not taking a look at now. Look at that now. We're, we're just going to take a look at the production build and stuff, especially in another video where I'm going to go over through basically how to prepare your application for production, right? Anyway, so... Um, let's see what else we have um, the direct usage right great so what they say is you have to wrap your all of your react native application inside their own directive called paper provider and the main reason for that is basically so that it can pass down all the props and stuff and uh, you know the theme properties from um, the top of the tree to all of your components right so let's just do that real quick and let me just make this adjacent and instead of doing like that we're gonna do paper provider just like that right and obviously we're gonna get it from react native paper right and uh, um i guess that's it for the setting up part i believe so at this point you do have a working react native um Great, thank you React. React Native Paper actually, right? So let's just install it real quick. And uh, because these are, I guess, native um, icons, they, they kind of like store the icon assets and stuff like that into the native folders for Android and stuff. So you have to link them as well. React Native link is pretty good, but it get it gets real messy once you you know start adding a lot of packages. And I myself do not recommend React Native link for very big projects because React Native link uh, kind of like does whatever it wants to do. And if your package has not coded appropriately how it should handle react native link it kind of breaks your application as well right so let's just enclose our text in here and let's just say a little high and just as a matter of fact react native paper also provides text input and what the hell is going on here um oh obviously because you have linked it you have to um rerun it all right so if you end up with errors like these, could not find method Google and stuff like that, um, before actually fixing it myself and proceeding on, I just want to show you real quick how to do it yourself, right? And essentially what you have to do is just go to your Gradle wrapper, Gradle, Gradle wrapper properties and replace the string with 4.8.1. And uh, just give me a second here. Yeah, 4.8.1. I just verified it from um, let's go down source code, right? That's what I'm using here. And for the build.gradle, add 
Google here twice and update this to 3.1.3 right now you do you need to update Gradle because um, react native vector icons should make use of implementation instead of compile and stuff so for that you need to do that right so let's just try it one more time react native run Android all right so here you go once it's built it should be live on your mobile phone and da, 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 da. let's see so it saves me right so actually this should be provider as paper provider and uh, the reason react native documentation uses this provider as paper provider is obviously because um, we get to use provider from Redux as well. So in case you are using provider from there, it would create conflicts, right? So you see we get a simple hello, simple hi there, but uh, let's just make use of some sort of component here to actually get the things rolling. Let's use app bar, right? So not really app bar. Um, app bar, yeah, I guess. Wait a second. Um, yeah, okay, anyway, let's just use app bar only. Right, so let's just copy their own example. Why the hell not? And just paste it here. Let's remove this. Right, we're gonna include the app bar. And basically, let's see if we can get the styles here. There we go, right? So we just need that should be it, I guess. Right, so you see that we get a little app bar here. And actually what I wanted was not at the bottom. So we're gonna remove this anyway and hit save. So we got a standard app bar. Obviously you can replace it with the icon like the, the hamburger icon and then a title here. But what I want to show you effectively is that you can see this is a material icon. You can see my touches here and ripples created, right? Um, you could include some sort of cards as a matter of fact, right? You can include a couple of cards here. Just get in card from and obviously this is wrong from the library and card and what else do we need title paragraph uh, there you go button also uh -huh. right so you can see that we are already rolling down with the awesome components even when we have not touched a lot of code as well right so you can actually replace this app bar action from app bar back action which would actually instead create a back button right see and instead of just app bar let's just use app bar dot header to actually create a actual application header here right we have also already got the back action for content we're gonna make use of this and let's just get rid of all of this there we go it's save i'll just keep uh, this tidy so just indent it a little and you should be good to go right so you can see on the right we have got a nice looking page with a title bar and uh, the back button though not working but obviously we would make it work with some cards right and the images and stuff like that custom fonts right without actually doing touching the styles part at all so these are inbuilt components which are really helpful in a lot of cases for example in code dam right here if you check the loan section what i'm 
making use of is these are the cards right so these are the cards provided by um, this library right inside the news as well these are all the cards right though this is a different library it's not uh, provided by react native paper but uh, the element is the same card right so we're going to create some more awesome applications as we go along with react native paper and introduce some more interesting libraries which i have experienced and used so i guess that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching